What's up, Average Engineers? Today, I wanted to talk about quicksort. I want to kind of continue my talk that I did on DSA. I think I've done a, I think I've done a video on linked list, binary search, and now I'm going to talk about quicksort. Um, if you remember talking about binary search last time I did a video, that's where you're searching for an item in a sorted list or array. Um, that kind of brings up the question about how do you actually sort an unordered list or array. So that's what I want to talk about today is quicksort. We're going to do this in Rust. Um, here's a visual of quicksort if you've never heard of it. It's basically, you know, I have your list or an array of unordered items. And what you have to do is sort it. So the concept is really using recursion and breaking the problem down into manageable bits. So how you sort of quick sort is you pick a what they would call a pivot. Most people call it a pivot. So that's either like the first or the last item in the list. Um, and then you would take the rest of the items, kind of like shown in this picture, and you would compare each item to that pivot and say, is it less than or greater than or equal to, right? And if it's less than, you would put it over, you know, on your left side. If it's greater on the right side with your pivot, and then obviously... Um, you start to have a list there, um, but where recursion comes in is when you're building that final list. You call a quick sort function on itself, so it recursively quick sorts um, each of these, right? Um, these necessarily, right? If we pick a pivot of four and we take all the items that are less than and put them on the left side, if they're greater than or equal to, put them on the right side. Those are still unordered lists, although you do have a pivot in the middle. Now you have everything on the less than, greater than then you recursively sort those two, right? Um, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna implement it in Rust. So let's give it a shot. So you can see here, I've already got my visual codes opened up here and I turned off Copilot and stuff just so it doesn't get in the way here. Um, so obviously the first thing we're gonna need when doing a quick sort function is we're gonna need a unordered list of elements. In our case, we'll be using Rust, so it's an array. So we're going to do an unordered vector, and we'll call it of ints. And we'll say, just do 20, like 0 through 20, if that sounds good unordered collection and then we need to basically shuffle it so we're just gonna say unordered shuffle and mutable thread ring come on mutable thread ring there we go and should we go ahead and print that so you can see what's happening here we're going to build a quick sort function that will order these. So let's talk through it. So function quick sort. And obviously the quick sort is going to take an input that is going to be again a vector of ints. And also it's going to return a vector of ints, right? It's going to take an unordered and return an unordered. Pretty straightforward. The first thing you'll see most people do when doing a quick sort is they'll simply just check the input length and say if it's you know less than one, less than or equal to one, then we'll just return the input. Um, we're just playing around here, so I don't think it's that big a deal. But um, so remember we talked about a something called a pivot. Um, that's a concept that is usually you're picking right you gotta if you're gonna sort it you're gonna pick something i would say most people either pick the first or the last element we'll just pick the first so our pivot what we're going to compare you know our unordered array to we're going to pick the first item and then you know try to find everything that's less than or greater to than item so that's we'll call that our pivot and pick the first item and in my implementation i'm going to say like we need a less than If I can type um, vector, new vector, I'm 
or we can put everything that's less and we can say greater than and again a new vector for that and this is where we will put our items that are greater or less than that makes sense right so now we have a pivot which is we have an incoming unsorted vector we have a pivot which is our first one and we're gonna try to loop through those and then we're gonna have a vector that's gonna hold our items that are less than and a vector that's gonna hold our items that are greater than so for I and input starting from one through the length because remember our pivot is the first one so that makes sense if our pivot is a first item in the vector we would want to loop through the rest of them so we wouldn't pick up that so we're going to say if the input that we're working on so i is less than our pivot right that means we can take our less than and push that input index we're working on right we'll push it to the less than and then we can assume otherwise it's equal to our greater than so we can just say greater than push input at that index right so review we got an unsorted list coming in we take the first one as a pivot we have two new vectors that are less than greater than we start looping through ahead of the pivot and saying is each item less than or greater than and pushing it into the correct vector right it's fairly simple but now we need a result right which is a vector again of u32 and just a new vector and we're gonna say we're going to start building the list back, right? So result, we're going to append our mutable. And this is where it's going to get weird. Our mutable quick sort less than. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So we're taking our result and we're saying we're going to append our mutable quick sort less than we're gonna take a result and we're gonna push our pivot in there my auto complete is being a little weird and then we're going to append our borrowed mutable greater than so again, let's go through this one last time before we run it. So we have a quick sort function, takes an unordered list. If it's less than or equal to one, return it. Pick the pivot out, which is our first one. We're gonna make two new vectors less than or greater than. We're gonna loop through things ahead of our pivot and push them to either the less than or greater than. And our result is basically, we need our less than pivot greater than, but then we call this quick sort on itself, right? Because those are unordered even though these items are all less than and these items are all greater and they're still unordered so we call it on itself if that makes sense now we should be able to say cargo run and there you have it you can see on the top is our unordered array and on the bottom we have our ordered array um quick sort I don't know you would probably never use this i mean it's a good way to learn recursion it's a good way to think about breaking a problem down into its smallest part right if you're gonna sort something you know the idea is here we pick the first item and then we take everything that's less than and put it over here and right then that's over there right that's like a unit of work and then where recursion comes in is like oh I need to do the same thing to those lefts and rights within itself recursively so all those get ordered so then that's where 
when we're building our install, what we can call this function on itself, recursion, and voila, we have a quick sort function. Um, I think that ties nicely into the last video where we talked about binary search and how that works on an ordered list or array, and this kind of like builds on that. How do you get those ordered results in a fairly fast manner? But yeah, so that's quick sort, pretty easy, straightforward Rust. I think anybody can do it. Anybody can understand that. I'm sure it's not the best implementation, but the idea is there. Um, the idea of breaking a function down into its smallest unit of work, which in quick sort is picking a pivot and then pushing things to the left and right and combining them back. But then that same, that recursion, right, where you call that function on itself and you get a beautiful little quick sort algorithm there. I hope you'd enjoyed that. Have a good day.